Hello YouTubers, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to tra uh, transform one of these transformers into a very high amperage, um, awesome transformer that can be used for a number of things. This is a microwave transformer. This is a fairly large one too. You can use small ones or large, large ones, but the large ones are the coolest to use. Um, basically all you're going to need is some very heavy gauge wire with really nice insulation on it, like a car battery um, wire or something, or maybe even a vacuum cord would work. And you're going to need a hammer, a flathead screwdriver, and a pair of cutters. Now, all you do to do this, I've already cut the back side. See, the secondary windings are cut. How I cut them is you just stick the screwdriver on there and beat the top of the hammer and it'll cut it right off. It'll shear it right off. And then all the extra little strands you just cut with those um, cutters right here, the wire cutters. Um, when you do this, take care not to damage the bottom coils, the primary coils. You want to keep those intact for what we're doing. Um, so now, now that you have uh, know how to cut this, after you cut it only on one side, you need to take your flathead screwdriver and stick it on the side you just cut and hammer it through, like so, evenly. And it will come out like that, and then you'll have a bare transformer. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll be right back. Yeah, you can see flame in the background. <laughs> but, as you can see, I have pushed all of the windings all the way through on both sides, taking care not to damage the primary windings. Those are still going to be used. Next, um, go ahead and get some like thick wire. It doesn't matter what gauge it is, as long as it's thick. Um, with insulation on it, it can be rubber or whatever, and wind it around this thing the same direction like that as many times as you possibly can. Then take some duct tape and wrap around there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm getting kind of distracted, but, you know. Anyways, there you go. Don't let the babies get to it, because, you know, not a good idea. But there you go. Um, I'll be showing you that when it's done. Hello, once again, YouTube. Um, here's the finished windings. You want to make sure that they're stuffed in there, so, you know, so they ain't, they're not going to come undone. As you can see, they are... Next, what you want to do is cure it by taking a very hot blow dryer or a hot air gun and getting the transformer iron block really hot and it'll heat up all these and kind of melt the plastic together, fuse them. Um, don't get it too hot. You don't want it to smoke. Like when you see it smoking, that means you got it way too hot. So um, yeah, there it is. I'm going to strip the wires, so you, you know, bare wires, and then I will do a test by putting a little um, something there, you know, and show you it um, react to that. So, yeah, all you have to do, this will put out about like 3 volts at like 400 amps. So, that's quite a punch. And, uh, you know, you got your two terminals here, I'm going to hook up a cord too. Just standard 110 volt. And another cool thing about this is you can't get shocked by it. You can touch these just like this while it's running and you won't get shocked. Um, however, if you run the transformer without modding it, you will probably end up dying if you do that. Um, they put out a massive amount of amperage and voltage, so that will kill you. So don't ever turn them on unless you know exactly what you're doing uh, unmodified. So, yeah, there you go. I'll be back in a little bit. Hello YouTube. Um, so, I have finished the transformer all the way. Um, as you can see, there it is. Um, I have it directly shorting out on a wire right there. Um, the, these are obviously the output, and then the two right here are on the input, which is 110 volt. I got a computer cord, I just jammed the wires right into it. Watch what this wire does. We'll see, this is the initial test of it. All right, here we go. 400 amps straight into a uh, four amp wire. One, two, three. Nice, well that worked good. Huh. All right. 
Alright, now let's just cross these two things together and see what we can get out of it. Power's on. And here we go. Woo! Those are some big ass sparks. <laughs> and now, just for shits and giggles, let's see what happens when we cross it on a grinder wheel or on a buffing wheel with thin, thin bristles. Let's see what happens. Holy shit. <laughs> It's like steel wool, except times five. <laughs> That's cool. There you go. Um. Well, let's do it to an armature. Let's see what happens. Huh, nothing much is happening really. Yeah, nothing's happening. Okay. Well, it's a good high end bridge machine, that's for sure. Let's do another wire. Alright. Always do this just in case it's storing some sort of charge. I know it's a transformer, but. You never know. With amps and volts like this, you want to make sure it's, you know, discharged before you touch it. Okay. Bright red wire. Test. In three, two, one. Fault. All right. Huh. Woo. All right, let's try a heavier gauge wire. Okay, three, two, one, bolt. Yeah, that didn't work very well. Alright, test number two, three, two, one, fall. Huh. Okay. Let's try getting on there better. Right, three, two, one, fall. There we go. That was better. Okay, three, two, one, fold. That was cool. As you can see, that was very effective. So, there you go, that's how you build a very high amperage transformer. Here it is. From high voltage low amp to low voltage high amp. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can also submerge these in oil to keep them cooler because they, they do uh, get quite hot. You don't want these overheating right here. If those ones overheat, they'll melt together and cause a huge short and then blow. So just uh, be aware of that. Um, I would recommend you put this in an oil bath in like a paint can or something put a lid on it, you know, and then have terminals on it, but I'll do that eventually and make an update video on it. But there you go, folks. I hope you like this video. All right, see you later.